Facebook people. This is Jamie with JD Precision Plumbing and I am under a customer's home right now with some of our plumbers. We have, uh, how long has this tunnel? Is it 22 feet? 25. 25 feet long in this tunnel and um, we have a lot of problems going on. So they just told me all the problems and I'm gonna try to re-explain to y'all what it is. Do you wanna get out or do you wanna stay in here? I don't wanna make you be hot. Okay. Jose is going to exit the tunnel. <laughs> it's hot in here, y'all. <laughs> so excuse me if I'm sweating like crazy. Okay, I'm going to turn around. Actually, I have this light. Perfect. Okay, so here's what I've learned so far. Right here, we have... What were the problems? Oh, Matt's coming back in. Matt knows everything. I'm going to let Matt tell y'all. That Matt, we are live on Facebook. Hello, Facebook. <laughs> okay, so right here we have root balls, our roots that have gotten into this sewer line right here. It's broken, and you can see the break line, or it's broken getting its way into the sewer system right here. If you look behind you, Facebook can really see this one. Oh, wow, yeah. You can see exactly what happened here. So this was connected right here, right? Correct. So this is broken, and this is what was underneath, like a, a, bathroom, a bathroom sink. sink. Yes. And this pipe got roots in it and just crumbled over mm -hmm. time? Wow. And you can see it, it broke that fitting, and it also broke this one. And the best part is it broke this one inside the concrete. Wow. So that's stuck in there? Yes. And right above that is a sink? Yes. And right above you is a... Toilet. Toilet. Okay. Is there a problem with that pipe? No, this is the only good pipe we've seen so far in the system. <laughs> so sad. Is this one right here. What do you um, uh, know? Why this customer originally called us out? They had multiple different plumbers come out that have been trying to figure out why they are constantly having backups in the master bath and in the um, hallway bath. Um, and here's the reason why, um, or this is the reason why for the hallway bath is. Once we uncovered this with dirt, this pipe just fell out. They were semi-connected at some point, but there, as you can see, the amount of roots and things that have gotten in it since then are insane. And this is a root, this is a root. Yes. So there's roots everywhere. And yes. say what you said again a second, why do roots like to be in the sewer line? Uh, they like, there's always water and there's always fertilizer in the line, if you want to call it that. <laughs> um, allowing the, the roots to be able to feed and get all the water they need. And there's two humongo trees right outside this customer's house? Yes, we have two large oak trees about six feet outside this house. So Matt was just telling me that it's, um, whenever we think roots in the line, we often think like it's big roots like this here or like big roots like this. But he said most of the time, the roots that are causing your backup are like these little bitty guys right here. Um, so whenever we say there's roots in your line, it doesn't always mean something like this going on it could be just something like this okay do you want to go down and show them the other problem yes oh but while this is dripping can you tell me why that's dripping even though no one's using the sink okay so no one's home right now the uh ac unit the condensate line is connected to a bathroom sink um and as the AC, when the ac is on it's pulling the moisture out of the air and it has to drain somewhere and that's where we always drain to normally it drains to uh, a bathroom sink Okay. Um, a lot of your bathroom sink stoppages are caused from the AC, um, and this is just one of the reasons why um, we always have sink stoppages. Okay, let's. We're gonna keep going into the dark tunnel that'll be lit up in a second. I can almost stand up in here, y'all. This is like a humongous tunnel. I'm gonna you let Matt. Can. I don't think I can. Okay. This is not a typical tunnel size, is it? No. How, how, what is the tip? I, how, you've done like thousands of these, right? How many, what's the typical size of a tunnel under a customer's home? Um, Jose coming through with the fan. I love it. <laughs> um, you're normally about here. Okay. So Y'all are on your bellies. Kind of. Where you're sitting down okay. on your butt, working. Sometimes you're laying down. Depends on the situation. Um, here's another break in this line. So we, what are this is a toilet right here. Okay. It's right, right inside this concrete, or not in, above this concrete right here. Um, what they did was they put the toilet line inside the beam, 
and then by shifting up the house, it has actually sheared off the fitting here. Allowing, is that roots? Yes. So roots are coming in and breaking it in half? Yes. Or like getting in between where it meet where the pipe meets the fitting? Once the uh, foundation causes the the sewer to to crack, it starts dripping water. The trees find the water and then they get into the source. Okay. Y'all, if y'all didn't know, mosquitoes love tunnels. This is not something that I was made aware of before I got in oh, here. Oh, I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> Luckily, uh -huh. there's a convenience store like two seconds away from this house. But mosquitoes is a, a big problem for plumbers. Yes, it's a big <laughs> I learned that today. <laughs> so another thing with this, as I, I was saying that the beam has caused this pipe to shift down and break, on the level right here, you can see that- It is not level. It's going the, the I don't, wrong direction. So the bubble is in, on the left side, it should be? It should be like this. Okay, so there's that much wrong with it. Yes, as you can see, this is where it should be. People always try to tell me the joke. There's only two things you need to know about being a plumber. Paydays on Friday and poop goes downhill. Yes. And <laughs> this is not and, going downhill, people. This, this, this is going downhill. uphill. So the, you flush the toilet and then your debris tries to go uphill. And that does not work because science. Yes, gravity does only work <laughs> Okay. And then as you can see on this one, this is for two bathroom sinks and a bathtub. They're um, over there behind the wall? Right, behind, right on the other side of this beam. Okay. Um, as you can see, just probably, probably just looking at it, this pipe should be up here. Yeah, stuff comes and downhill. As you can see, it's not. Yeah. Um, this is a mixture between insulation air and movement of the house. This pipe, as you can see, it doesn't, it's free inside here. As pipes cross, down, cross beams like this, and as your house moves, it forces these pipes down, and this pipe stays exactly where it's at. Okay. So this pipes in all this right here, from here this way is great, but just because it's not in a beam. So in normal people words, this is the house is sitting on this pipe and the house is sitting on this pipe, but the house is not sitting on what you're leaning on right now. So what you're leaning on is still okay, if not for the house shifting. Yes. So the fix is move I, move everything lower. No. 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 Well, we're on a septic here, so we can't do that. Okay. Well, I'm limited. So actually, what we have to do is raise all this. Oh, okay. And bring it to where it falls correctly. Okay. Same thing here. We're going to have to bore a hole up here. We're going we're to bore a three inch hole or three and a half inch hole so we can sleeve it with three inch PVC through here. Okay. So that this is only a two inch pipe that you still have wiggle room inside there that doesn't allow, if there is any more shifting, we have played with the pipe. Okay. Awesome. All right, people. If you have questions for Matt, how do I flip it around? If you have questions for Matt or any of our plumbers, send us a message. Here's Jose. Jose is Mr. Fan Guy right now. It's amazing because it is so hot in here. If you have questions for us, DM us or call us at the office if you want. If you have problems with your sewer and you want one of our specialists like Matt to come out. Matt, how many sewer lines have you uh, repaired over? Thousands. Thousands. Over, over 15 years. Over 15 years of plumbing and he's always been a drain specialist. So if you have problems like this, we have a couple other guys who that is what they do is drains. That's all they do because they know their stuff. And this kind of stuff is important. We need to get your waste out of your house. Uh, that's how plumbers protect the health uh, of America. So let us protect you, protect America, go vote, ask us questions.